Hello, this is me again. I am Najib from Algeria. And in this video, I want to show you my round robin C program. Uh, excuse me. So that's it. Uh, so, of course, you can download my code, but please, please, before downloading it, uh, subscribe to my channel because I just I write this code just to earn subscriptions in YouTube. That's shame if you download it without subscribing in my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, so let let me show you how my program works. Okay. Uh, let's open it. <clears throat> So I said that there is a link in the descriptions below if you want to download it. Okay. Uh, so let's run. Uh, let's see this example here. Let's enter this example. At first you must enter the number of processes. So we have six processes. That's six. The quantum, the quantum of this system is three. Okay. So we will find this example, uh, if you want to see this example, you will find also a link in the descriptions below. Okay. Uh, the quantum here is a 3. That's 3. The arrival time of P0. Here in this example, it's, it starts from P1, but in my program, because I use C, it starts from 0, P0. Okay. P0 in my program means P1 in this example here. So the arrival time of P0 so is 5. And the burst time for P0 is 5 also. The second, the arrival time of P2 is 4. And 6 for burst time. And so on. 3, 7, 1. Oh, excuse me. Because that's an integer and I pressed a instead of writing seven okay so uh, let's repeat again number of processes is six the quantum is uh, three the, the arrival time of p05 the burst time five four six three seven uh, one nine two two and lastly uh, arrival time is six and the burst time is 3. Oops. So here <coughs> we see all of the steps of the of the execution. Okay. Here I have the arrival time, the burst time, and the remaining time. The remaining time means initially the remaining time of this burst time is 5. And for this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 3. Okay, so here, so and in each time, I prime the queue. So here the queue is null. Okay. Uh, in the second step, our system is, uh, excuse me, there is no change here because there is no uh, process in the queue. Here P3 is arrives. Okay, this. Yes, P3 is P4 now here because I said that I starts from zero. P3 here mean P4 here, okay. Uh, so P3 arrives. That mean here. So it change. Okay. So the burst time is nine, and here the remaining time is three because we ran three uh, units of times from P3, and here when I uh, update the remaining time. P4 and P2 and P1 arrives. Huh? Okay. And here, so I, I always update the remaining time. Okay. I stop this process when all of the remaining times are equal zeros. Okay. Of course, if you want me to change something in this program, in the code itself, you can contact me. Just put a link. Uh, just uh, put a comment in the descriptions below. Okay? For example, if you want the program to read the system from a txt file or anything or anything, just put your comment. I will respond. Okay. Or 
if you want, for example, the, I explain, if you want me to explain the code also, just put uh, uh, a comment below. Uh, and lastly, and lastly, we uh, we, sh we see the, the scheduling queue. Okay, here, for example, for this example here. So from zero, from the time zero to to one, from zero to one, the CPU is idle because that here p minus one minus p minus one means that there is no process in the is executing. Okay, and from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 we ran p3 okay p3 which here is p4 that's from 1 to 4 and here from 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 we ran p3 and from 4 to 5 and uh, 5 to 6 we ran p4 which is p5 here from 4 to 6 and so on okay. for the last one from uh, 32 to 33 we ran P P3, okay, which mean here is P2, okay, from 32 to 33 is P P2, because here we start from zero, the first process is P0, and this in this example the first process is P1, okay, and lastly here we see the the waiting time. So here I don't, in this program I don't uh. I don't uh, worry about the turnaround time and the response time. I just calculate the wait time. Here that's 22 for the first. So that's 22, 17, uh, 23, 22, 12. And that's true here. Okay. That's true for this example. And lastly, I calculate the average waiting time, which equal this plus this plus this. Uh, the sum of the waiting time of all processes over the number of processes which equals 16 and that's true here also okay so that's it if you want to download it just download it now but please 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 subscribe to my channel so that's it assalamu alaikum